y'all in the brown. I'm back with another video. Um, tonight I'm going to make chickpea tortilla chips, and I'm going to make also alkaline guacamole. So we doing guac and chips, guac and chips tonight. So um, what I'm using is chickpea flour. I'm using cayenne pepper, onion powder, and sea salt, and grapeseed oil for the tortilla chips. Um, and I'm using spring water. So I got this recipe off of YouTube, off of here. So um, what I did was put like one cup, a little, probably over a cup of chickpea flour, chickpea, chickpea flour in there with the seasoning. And then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Three tablespoons of grape seed. Okay, so I got the three tablespoons of grape seed. And I'm going to use a fork. And I'm hungry, y'all. I'm hungry. And like, get it crumble, 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 crumble. Y'all, I'm so hungry. And no, I'm not drunk. Hey, y'all, so I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. You know, last night I made this alkaline meal. It was quinoa, chickpea, um, onions, mushrooms, bell peppers, cilantro, romaine lettuce i mean it was amazing i just really like came up with it like out of nowhere i was like i'm hungry i want some hot food and you know what we're gonna put this together and that's what we're doing we're gonna taste i hope these um i hope these i hope these tortilla chips oh my god it's like my hand don't be steady It's a spring water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adding a little bit at a time. I'm trying to create like a, a dough, like a ball. So I'm gonna to try to work and creating this into a ball real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, it took me a minute to get this into a ball, but we got it into like a ball. <laughs> Hopefully it's right. Um, I'm gonna put some saran wrap. They said just. Um, Just let it chill out for like 20 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Saran wrap on this sun. And I'm going to let it sit. You can look up um, chickpea tortillas, chickpea, um, whatever, whatever you want. I think I can make some tortillas out of this. So maybe next time I'll do tortillas. I think it'll be the same concept. But I just roll it out and put it into a pan. Okay, so it's in there. It's not trying to really go too tight. Put a ball in there. I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes. It is 6.40 on the dot. So I'll be back at 7 o'clock. PM, baby. Okay, so um, I'm back. In a sec, and my head is cut off. <laughs> but while I'm waiting, I got 16 minutes for um to wait for the um dough, I guess. So now I'm just cutting up some veggies for my guacamole. 
I got red onion, um, I have tomatoes, plum tomatoes, I have a green skin avocado, and cilantro, and key lime. Also, I'm using the same season. I'm using onion powder and sea salt. Let me fix this thing because it's like, why is my hair cold? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Wait, I don't freaking know, but um, yeah, it is. I don't know how much, um, how much you're supposed to get out of this because this is my first time using the green. Skin avocado. I normally use Haas avocados and they're smaller, so I'm gonna just cut up a little bit more. I'm gonna cut up a little bit more. Let's see how this. I'm gonna just cut up a little bit more. I bought my stuff from the international market. But like normally when I buy stuff like from the regular grocery store, like this red onion, it it don't be that strong to make my eyes to make me cry and make me, you know, my eyes water. But this one right here, it must be really, really organic. I already introduced myself, so but it's your girl Yana Brown. And I'm back with another video. It's your girl Yana Brown. And I'm back with another video. It's your girl Yana Brown. And I'm back with another video. <laughs> Sometimes like, it just go left. I don't know what be going on up there, but it just go left. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel. What's the deal? We trying to get snatch. So now we're just trying to start the video off with a good vibe. And, you know, see if we, see what we like. You know, we might like this alkaline stuff, and we, you know, we might continue for a minute. I'll be doing this for like three, four months. I'm gonna be checking in with y'all and letting y'all know how I feel right now. I feel good. I was not, I'm not craving meat, but I think about it. So I'm just trying to get off of that, you know? Just get off of it. Eight minutes on the dot left. So I'll come back in eight minutes when I'm like actually ready, ready to put the stuff in the oven. I think I have to roll it out and then I come back when it's time for me to roll it out and you know, push, push, push it, push it with my dough roller and yeah, I'll be back. Um, So I'm back right now. It's been sitting for 20 minutes. More than that, like 30 minutes. <laughs> We're going to see how much I need for the parking. I don't even know. We're going to start out with the ball. Um, I need to find my dough thing. Oh, there you go. My dough rope. If you a real chef, you got your ass a dough roller. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you gotta stand still. <laughs> Let me just flatten it a little bit. Cause it's, it's acting real stingy. I mean, we're going to stretch this bad boy out. <laughs> yeah, my am sir. I'll be right back. So, he, here are the um, tortilla chips. Now, they're not traditional. Uh, it's not your traditional uh, shape, but, you know, it's there. So, over here, I'm preparing the guacamole, and I'll be right back. Here we are. We have alkaline guacamole and chickpea tortilla chips. 
and i will be back with another video thank y'all for watching